Hello everyone, this is Overquake playing Farming Simulator 2013 and uh, off screen I did complete uh, the last little bit of this little corner of field 10 and now we're uh, just emptying everything out. Oops, turn the lights back on. Alright, now, um, now that we're all empty, I think I want to practice because I've been away from this game for a little bit. I want to practice figuring out how to um, wait, unfold it and then lower it, and then try to detach. I want to try to remember how to um, tow this thing, tow this big header. And so I think I've got it figured out, right? The only hard part was to remember to unfold it before I lowered it. Yeah. Yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. Got this thing all hitched up now. And we're going to be heading back to field um, 17. Is that right? That's right. Which is the only field we haven't yet harvested. We'll head on over there and get this process started. And uh, that this episode should wrap up our this uh, this season's harvest. We've got um, new seeds being planted, and all we got to do is get um, get field 17 all taken care of. Now field 17 is another one of those fields that are oddly shaped. So hopefully we can get this all sorted out. Because I think this little L, I don't know if it'll be a problem or if it won't. So let's detach this and reattach it to the combine from the front instead of from the back hitch like that. And we'll get this set up. Okay, so now we should fold it all up, and it should be set to use. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, phew. I mean, two weeks of not doing that, I would just wanted to kind of make sure that I had everything figured out. Whoa, I accidentally rammed into my own barn. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's hire a worker and get him started. We'll see how he, how he handles this corner right there. That'll be the tricky part. I'll tab through here and uh, safety first. We'll get this tipper over there to go help him. And on the way back, we can we might as well go ahead and empty this out, just because there's no point in bringing bringing this tipper over there while it's already pre-filled. So let's go ahead and empty this out and bring it over. I think it'd be better to bring it empty. So unloading. Yep. Great. I haven't driven in the cab in a while, so I wanted to uh, hit this button. Yeah, it's a good button. Alright, let's see where the combine's at. Already, yep, by the time we get there, the first row will already be done. Hey, homestead. Yeah, we're almost, um, we've almost got to the point where our farm is surrounded by fields that we own. Not quite, but on three sides, so we're doing pretty well. Well, sort of three sides. I guess field 10 is arguable, because it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of, where's the map? Where's the map? So farm, uh, this one, this one, this one, 
field 11 would and 15 would finish it up, but it uh, might be a while. So currently we've got uh, over almost 160,000 liters of wheat. That was a uh, pretty impressive harvest, and it's we still have our biggest field yet to go. So yeah, this could be a pretty massive harvest by the time we're we're all done with it. Yeah, so on the because this thing has such a large header, I'm really curious what it's going to do here at this corner because I think it looks almost like if it could just keep going straight and that it will kind of just keep going and treat it as one big row. We'll see here in a moment. How's everybody doing? Um, I'm doing pretty well. Pretty excited to be playing Farming Simulator again. It's a good game. Still loving it. Still loving it. Ooh, may I might be wrong. It might end at this row. Let's see how this is handled. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to be able to handle this? What are you doing? Well, because that tiny little lip stuck out, it's just going to... Weird. Weird. Okay, that was really strange. I could, could have gone to the end of the row. Maybe I should have made it go to the end of the row. And just start over there. Might have been smarter. Yeah. Well. We'll see how it's, um, how the AI, AI handles this. Looks like that um, cedar on field 16 is about halfway, which is pretty nice. We'll uh, be able to. We need to move one of those cedars over here to this field whenever they're free. Don't have three cedars yet. I don't really see a point in having three cedars. I also want to check on the other animals. So, cow productivity still shows a zero. Yeah, but I think that's just because... It oftentimes does show a zero percent productivity when I turn the game on. Yeah, it's doing the same thing with the sheep. It's just because I just loaded up the map, and it hasn't refreshed yet. The only important thing I need to know is that the wool is not yet full, so I don't have to worry about that. Cows. Wow. Over 2,000 liters of milk ready to go for tomorrow when the milk trip truck comes. So, nice. So, things are going well with the animals. The only thing now we really need to focus on is getting more cows. And I think next episode, since we won't have our normal harvesting duties, I think I have a plan to try out to go and put some of the silage we've collected into the biogas. Yeah, so that'll be... That'll be something new and interesting. Because we have a whole um, silage trailer, silage forger, forging wagon. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, you take two weeks off from a game. Can't even remember the terminology. The forging wagon <coughs> is full, and that could be a good way to use up that grass we've got sitting in there. Yep. So that'll be good. Not a lot going on on the farm right now. Just um, kind of stockpiling wheat at the moment. So I've got 
just like at all times, we could use we could sell this wheat when one of two things happens. The first of which is that we are just out of money and need money. Which, if you look down at the bottom right corner, that we only have eight thousand eight thousand dollars. That could happen any time. And the second time we could use it is if there's a great demand, we will just sell all of it and make uh, make great money. But I don't think there are any great demands at all. Nope. On there's there's nothing. The odds of that happening are a little bit low, although I guess on a long timeline it'll definitely happen. But we um, we just don't know when it will happen. The um, the best way to improve your chances for that are to have multiple products in your silos ready to go whenever there's a great demand, which is why. If you remember from last episode, I have planted barley on... I'm going to plant barley on all three of these fields next. I definitely... And canola would have been okay, too. The only thing I couldn't possibly plant would be more wheat. Because it doesn't make sense to make more wheat. Because if we get a barley, great demand. And we've got 400,000 liters of wheat sitting in our silo, it does us no good at all. So, I kind of want to spread out which which crops we're using so that we maximize our chances to be able to profit from a great demand. So that's what's going on now. Yeah, I need to, need to get some money so that I can kind of fill out our cow population. I think we only have, what, we don't, how many do we have? 10? 15. We've got 15. Is that a horn? Zero is the horn key? Maybe I didn't know that. Well, accidentally hit it, and what do you know? Um, okay, so... <clears throat> we could use a great demand on wheat any time, but... We'll go ahead and keep rotating our crops around. We'll get one eventually. And I'll probably... First thing I'll... First thing I would do with that money is go ahead and get our get more cows. The second thing I would do with more money is buy some sort of passive income thing like the solar solar power collectors probably. That takes 200,000 but it uh, would give us a decent return over time. Kind of keep money rolling in. Because, as you can see right now, when I've got hired workers, our money kind of falls like a rock. And things like solar power or the wind could definitely help offset that. So that's what we need to start looking into. Because it would be nice to see, uh, be a, you know, to be able to hire three workers and not ha just rip through our money when we do it. And to do that we need some solar collectors, wind, that kind of thing. The wind is quite expensive at, at a million dollars, so I think it was a million, yeah. So that won't be any time soon. But the... this harvest went pretty well. No big problems. And uh, now that we've got kind of our equipment settled a little bit, you know, this tipper's great. Really like it. The combine is perfect. No problems with the combine. So now that we've kind of got those things taken care of, harvests are so much easier than they used to be. Yeah, I'm really enjoying them a lot more. All we've really got left to do is finish up finish up this field. It looks like we're gonna have to make him come back and do that last that last little bit. But we can do that, that's okay. No problem. Don't really have any 
channel news. Nothing really new going on that I haven't already talked about. Yeah. Don't really have anything exciting. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, because I don't really have any side topics to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until this field is done being harvested and I will uh, see you when we're finishing up our you know last row or something like that or maybe when it's all done I'll come back then because all I've got to do is follow our new combine around and and hope it doesn't rain really are really the only things I've got to worry about all right, I'll see you back in a moment. Well, we've pretty much wrapped up this field. We have just this tiny little bit left to go. And of course, I have to bring the combine back over to that weird little corner that it didn't handle very well on its own. So once we get um, that taken care of, we're pretty much done. We can go ahead and switch over to the combine, move them over and take care of that last little bit. Safety first. Love the beacons on uh, on this guy. It's great. Triple beacon. Very nice. Hey, let's drive in the cab. Yeah, let's do it. Um, where does it end? About there. Right next to the barn. That sort of makes sense. Okay, we'll get everything lined up. Might be able to do that easier in this view. Okay, let's lower, turn it on. And get going. Let's go ahead and do this ourselves. I don't get to drive the combine very much. Because it's so, the only job you can't really automate is the is the tipper. So you almost you always have to sort of do the tipper job yourself. It seems like so this is kind of cool. It's kind of neat to be able to do this part of the job. I like seeing that beacon going in the corners. So that's pretty neat. All right, uh, pretty simple to just finish up that last little strip. A little zoom down here. It's going to be impossible to line up without being in this view. There we go. All right, and we'll line this up to dump off this last little bit. And there it is. It's done. The job is done. Okay, we just got to clean up a little bit, and we got to see if we have a cedar available now. Because I bet we do. I bet we do. And uh, this is a nice little corner to just park this guy right here. We'll cycle through. That's uh, field 10. This guy's done. Okay, good, 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 good. Safety first. Let's bring him over to field 17. Get him going on the barley over there. Yeah. Be nice to get that started. So that uh, in a couple of episodes we'll have some barley grown to be able to harvest that as well. That'll be nice. Okay, we'll lower this and turn it on and hire a worker. And then, um, you know what? Let's not fertilize this. Our money's really low. Uh, let's be more efficient about our fertilizing. We can go back at the end and fertilize it, but let's not 
Yeah, the way I normally fertilize is not a very efficient at all, so I need to work on that. The which is usually okay, but our money's really low right now, and I don't want to waste it by fertilizing the same spots over and over again. So, not going to do that this time. That'll pretty much wrap it up today. I'll dump this off and see how much we've that we got total for that harvest. And um, flip to the other screen. Three hundred seventeen thousand five hundred seventy-six liters of. That's incredible, um, fantastic, fantastic, very successful harvest. Everybody, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Overquake playing Farming Simulator 2013. Everybody have a great day.